Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video I will show you how you can build a little audio recorder in Android. So I installed this app on my Google Pixel here and if I hit start recording and then say something you can already see in the top right corner that it uses my microphone and then after a while I click stop recording and then click play you can hear that it actually recorded what I was just saying. So let's try this. As you can see, that is working perfectly fine. So let's jump into an empty Android Studio project, Jetpack Compose, and let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to jump into our root package and create a new package for our recorder. Because on the one hand, we of course need a recorder and then we need an audio player to actually play the recording. So we see that we successfully recorded something. Let's just call it record. And in there, I will create an audio recorder, which will be an interface. Um, I like to make this an interface to abstract out um, the actual implementation of this audio recorder so we can easily use it in things like a view model while still being able to locally unit test the view model since then we can easily pass a fake audio recorder in our test cases. So what does an audio recorder need to have? So what kind of functionality? On the one hand of course a function to start recording. Here we want to pass an output file in which we will save the recording. And then we want to have a function to stop the recording process. And then in our record package, we want to create a new class, which will be called Android Audio Recorder, which contains the actual implementation of this interface. So let's select class, make this implement audio recorder. And then on the one hand, we want to have our start function and our stop function. Let's actually start to pass the context in the constructor because to be able to create an audio recorder, we need that context like this. And then in here as a global variable, we want to have our private var recorder, which is a media recorder, nullable and null by default. I'll then create a private function to create our recorder which will return a media recorder instance. Um, I'll create this function since uh, there is an old way of initializing the media recorder and a new way which only works um, from a certain API level. So we want to return if build um, build a dot version SDK int if that's larger than or equal to build dot version codes dot s. So starting from Android s we actually need to pass the context to initialize a media recorder. In this case, we say media recorder, da, actually just the normal constructor. And here we pass the context. You see it also has an overload without context, which we need to use below this version, but that is deprecated. So else we say media recorder like this. And then if we go into our start function in here, we first of all want to make sure that we actually have an active recorder instance. So we say we call our create recorder function and then say dot apply because we need to do some config changes on that created recorder. On the one hand, we want to call set audio source. So I want to say from where do we actually now record? So from which source? In this case, it's simply the phone's microphone. So we need to say media recorder dot audio source dot mic. And then next we want to set the output format, which yeah just determines the output format we get. So the um, yeah the file extension in the end. We want to set this to media recorder output format mpeg4, which is just, um, I think it's mp3. And this output format, of course, partly decides about the quality you will get. Um, so in this case, it's not the best quality we get here, but of course, a smaller file size in this case. Uh, it really depends on your use case, what kind of quality you need. For example, if you build a chat app and you need high quality voice memos, and then you need a different way of encoding your um, recording file, then you need if you just want someone to test their voice, for example, to, to just let them hear what they said. Next up, we want to then set the output, actually the set audio encoder, which we set to media recorder, audio encoder dot AHC. And here again, this will probably um, impact the voice quality. I'm not really into audio rec uh, audio encoders. So let's just choose something I'm familiar with. And then last but not least, we need to set the output file, which we of course pass from the outside. So set output file, we have three overloads here on the one hand, just passing a file which we have here, but that um, requires a certain API level. So we can't use that. Instead, what we want to use is this file descriptor. So we can simply say we have a file output stream. We create that from our file that we passed, our output file. 
and then refer to the file descriptor of that output stream. And this will also work on lower API levels. Now we properly configured our recorder. The next thing is that we need to call prepare to make it just yeah, prepare to record. And after we call prepare, we can call start to start recording. And finally, let's say our recorder, our global variable is equal to this. So equal to the recorder we created here in this function. And when we then go to our on stop function, this is a very easy one. We just want to say we want to stop our recorder. We then want to re reset our recorder so it could record again. And then we want to set it to null. And if we then call our start function again, we will create a new recorder for that. And that's already it for our Android audio recorder. Next up, we want to create our audio player to be able to play the recorded file. So a new package in our root package called playback. And in there, we will have an audio player. Again, an interface, so we can use this anywhere we want. This will, on the one hand, take a function to play a file, which will take our um, recorded file like this. And we'll have a function to um, stop the playback. Then let's uh, write the actual implementation. So Android audio, Android audio player. This will be an audio player. It will also take the context, so private val context, like this. And then we have our play file function and we have our stop function like this. And the same way we had a recorder, a media recorder here in our audio recorder, we have a media player in our audio player. So player is a media player and null by default. And then here in play file, we want to initialize that player, of course. So we say media player dot create, we pass our context and we need to pass a URI from where we want to play this file, which is simply the pass file dot to URI. Um, and make sure to choose this URI, not the um, capitalized one. I mean, the uppercase one, like this. Then we can also call apply on this. We say player is equal to this and we want to simply start the playback. That's how easy we can actually um, play an audio file. When we call stop, we again just want to um, make sure we stop our player. We want to release the resources of our player and then set it to null, like this. And that's it. Next up, let's go to main activity and create a little UI so we can actually try this out. On the one hand, let's have a private val recorder by lazy, which is an Android audio recorder. We pass the application context to create that. And we also want to have a private val player by lazy, which is an Android audio player and also pass our application context. Um, we use by lazy here since the application context might not directly be available. I'm not sure actually um, the, the application context might be available, but it wouldn't work if you choose the activity context here because that is only available in on create and not um, when it, the activity is initializing. But let's choose the application context and we are on the safe side. And one thing we also want is a private var audio file. So the file we actually save the recording in. And then the simple layout we actually create here is, uh, you don't see this, but in the end, just four buttons. We can also just put these in a column. This isn't meant to be a beautiful layout, but rather a functional one. So let's have a column that we use to fill the whole size of our screen. And we could say the vertical arrangement is center the horizontal arrangement alignment is uh, center horizontally to just uh, center our buttons. And we then put all of our buttons in here. Um, this will be our button to start recording. When we click that, we want to call recorder dot start. And here we of course need a file that we pass. How do we create that? Well, we can just use a file. Uh, we need to pass the parent. So where we want to save that file, we can just uh, save it in our cache directory. So in our internal storage of our app, uh, this won't be accessible by other apps here. For that, you would need to use external storage, which is more complicated and uh, might require permissions or scope storage stuff. Very complex. So let's choose internal storage for simplicity here. And the file name is just audio.mp3, for example. You can then call that also to make the recorder start with that file. Um, oops, the recorder. And we then say our audio file, our global variable is equal to the file we created.
Cool. Let's copy the button, paste it below for stopping the recording. So here we simply call recorded at stop, stop recording. And we do this two more times for our a button to, um, to actually play and stop playing. In here, we want to say player, oops, player dot play file. We play our audio file. And if that's null, we simply return out of this button. And here for this button, we can say player dot stop. And one last thing we actually need is audio record permission. Uh, because if we want to record audio files on Android, we need to request a permission, which we need to add in our manifest. So let's go in there. You use um, uses permission. And this is record audio like this. We then need to request that I won't do any fancy permission handling here. So all I will do is I will request the permission and then just assume that the user accepted it because this video is really not about permission handling, but rather about just, yeah, how you can record audio files. If you want to learn how you can do proper permission handling, then I also have a video about that, which I will link somewhere up here. So feel free to watch that as well to also learn how you can show the different permission rationales if the user declines it, how to send them to the app settings if they decline it. Um, yeah, things like that. Let's just go in here and say activity compat dot request permissions. Hey, the activity is simply this. The permissions want to request is an array of manifest permission record audio. And the request code, we don't care about that. Let's just choose zero. If we launch this and take a look here on my device, and then we do get our permission request. So let's pick while using the app. And then we have our different buttons here to start the recording. Let's try this out. I hit start recording now and uh, I keep on speaking. You also just saw the little bubble appear on the top right that we are recording. If I now hit stop recording and hit play. Now and uh, I keep on speaking. You also just saw the little bubble appear yes. on the top right that we are recording. That is working perfectly fine. I just clicked stop playing and that was also working. And I'm just seeing <laughs> that my device disconnected. So you probably did not see um, the bubble on my screen, but you just heard that the recording was working. My pixel just likes to disconnect very often from um, wireless debugging. I'm not sure if you also have the problem, but you just saw that it was working perfectly fine. And if you enjoyed this video, then you will definitely also enjoy my more advanced Android premium courses, which will make you an industry ready Android developer in the fastest time possible. If that sounds good to you and you want to run things like multi-module architecture or building KMM apps, so really advanced apps in the end, then definitely check the first link in this video's description. You'll find all my courses there. And apart from that, I wish you an amazing rest of your day. See you back in the next video. Bye bye.